So last week, uh, if you guys were, you know, on the channel, you know, I did a live stream uh, talking about Transformers 1, it came out in theaters, we had the really fun discussion as Hurricane Helene was coming in. And it was a lot of fun, sure, I mean, I live in Florida, um, but I live about an hour inland, you know, south of me, uh, a friend, uh, you know, Bert, the Stormtrooper, you guys know, you know, he lives near Tampa, so, you know, his, you know, very close to him, some of the streets were already flooded and what have you. But as the storm had come in, we'd never expected this storm to be as big as it was. And normally I talk Transformers on this channel, but I I feel remiss if I don't talk about this and, and make a video about this. This is really important. So uh, Hurricane Helene came in as a Category 4 storm. It's a massive giant storm that uh, northwest of me came in and made landfall. And it wasn't even until much of the storm was already over Georgia that the storm uh, was even downgraded to a Category 2. It was massive. And it barreled through northwest as it went up through South Carolina, Tennessee, even uh, made an effect and made a massive effect in th those areas and North Carolina currently right now, an area that never sees hurricanes ever, you know, or even, like they usually dissipate or become like tropical depressions before they even reach those neighborhoods. And it barreled through and even went up as far as uh, as Ohio. If you understand, you know, um, in the southeast of the United States, it's very, very big. But it, it's it's just a, a, a disaster that people were not expecting and this storm quite literally washed away roads washed away entire neighborhoods uh you know people who you know because the appalachian mountains go through the northwest you know the the southeast of or the you no know, the one part of you know the united states and as the storm was going through all that rainwater just washed down the appalachian mountains and just washed away these towns it's a disaster, like a straight up horrible disaster. People are not even able to get internet power. They're not able to get to, to reach the you know people. But then I've been hearing uh, a lot of people who are using their own helicopters, their own private helicopters to go and rescue people. And they are quite literally going out there, finding people on mountains, you know, who have no power, no internet, no way to get uh, any communication out to anyone. And they're rescuing people who need medical supplies, some people who are elderly and not able to leave where they are. And uh, it's just, it's it's devastating. It really is devastating. And, and I'm going through my own, you know, financial issues, but that's a whole, this is a whole different level of things that I really feel that if I, I need to address this in a video here, because, um, Quite literally, here we have Samaritan's Purse, is a, a very good charitable organization that I think that is well worth donating to. And I'll leave a link in the description. But I want to play this video uh, here, and you know, to have you kind of understand what's going on here. So the east coast of the United States just got decimated by Hurricane Helene. And normally up here in the mountains of North Carolina, we don't feel the effect. A lot of damaged Just, homes, people have lost their lives here in this community, in the high country. Our community is set up for blizzards. We're not set up well for floods. And so uh, it, it's really catastrophic damages. The road that we're on here, it's a uh, bridges out on the other end and our slide has got it blocked on this end. Those people, none of them can get out. There's probably, I would say, at least 50 homes or more in there. If, if you can help somebody, help them. Just bless them. So Samaritan's Purse is coming in and they're doing whatever they can for their own rescue efforts. And I believe that it is a charitable organization to help out with. Now, I've heard currently right now that Starlink specifically is out there. Uh, you know, they're they're set. They're trying to set up Starlink things so that people can have, you know, free Internet access through these this area, at least for 30 days. So they can just connect, no issues, and, and you know, props to them for doing that. 
especially considering when you see reports like this. And I don't talk about the news. I don't normally talk about the news on this channel. I don't care what your political affiliations are. I really don't. I don't care who you vote for. Uh, but this I found despicable. That FEMA doesn't have the funding to help the people who are affected here. I, I, I'm, I'm just at a, at a loss for words. So, instead of getting upset about it, getting, you know, I'm, I'm more so passionate about how we can help people. And I, it would be remiss of me as a Christian to not point this out, that wherever we can help people, Wherever we can, can donate to. I'm going to leave a link in the description for the Samaritan's Purse. I'm also going to leave a link for another charitable organization that is currently working. Now, if you don't know, um, it's it's just really, really terrible. But I just say this much. Wherever we can help people, you know, to, to donate money um, and just help people out where, where we can. And I think it's important. So I will talk to you guys later. And I will, you know, yes, I will still be putting Transformers content on this channel to, uh, for people who are, you know, they've got nothing else to do, especially after, you know, if, you know, once they get rescued and they need something to, to enjoy and sit back and watch, I want to at least be able to create good content for people to get, to at least get their minds out of this terrible disaster. But this is something that I think is much more important than anything else. So, um... Until next time, guys, to all are one.